my country to the V. Sweet land of liberty. Of thee I sing. The land where my fathers died. 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 Land that the pilgrims pride. From every mountainside. Let freedom. Let freedom. What is justice, you ask? Justice is often defined as fairness or equal treatment. It is the quality of being just, righteousness or equitableness. William Gladstone once said, if justice is delayed, justice is denied. The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution of the United States, and the Bill of Rights, the founding documents of this nation, speak directly to the ideals of freedom from oppression and equality and justice for all. Yet in the summer of 2020, thousands once yet again for the justice for black lives. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. What is justice to me? Well, when I think of justice, two things come to mind, fairness or equality, and the absence of evil or prejudice. So justice would be judgment with fairness minus prejudice. What does justice mean to me? I think justice can be seen in two different ways. In a negative sense, I think justice means punishment for a crime that has been committed. But in a positive sense, I think justice means fair or equitable, equitable treatment, such as found in Proverbs chapter 31 verses 8 and 9 and I want to read it from the contemporary English version and it says but you must defend those who are helpless and have no hope be fair and give justice to the poor and homeless in the in the NLT version it says speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves ensure justice in this case fair treatment or relief for those being crushed you must speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. Hi everyone, I'm Leland Statham, Senior Meteorologist at the News Channel 5 Network and the co-host of Talk of the Town. To me, justice means being morally fair. That's extremely important in the justice system, but also in every aspect of life. At work, we want to be treated based on what we know and not the color of our skin. In education, it's extremely important because we want everyone to learn based on what they are able to do, not based on their background, not based on their economic background or racial background, but everybody treated fairly. And that's what justice means to me. Let America be America again. Let it be the dream, dream to do be. Be the pioneer on your own, seeking a home where he himself is free. America never was America to me. Let America be the could bring the dreamer's dream. Let it be that great strong land of love, where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme, that any man should be judged by one above. It was never America to me. Oh, let my land be a land. And liberty is crowned with no false pigs on a grease. But opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Hey, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you, who are you that draws your draws tail across the stars? I'm the poor white. Food and push in part. I'm the name of Negro slavery slave bars. I'm the red man driven from the land. I'm an immigrant clutching for the hope I seek and finding only the same old, old plan of dog eat dog, of mighty crushed weak. I'm the young, the end of strength and hope, stuck in this long, endless chain, chain of a profit, power, gain, of grab the land, of grab the gold, 
of taking everything for one's own unsatisfying spot. Of work the men and take the pay the, of doing everything for one's own one read. The free? Who said the free? Not me. Sir, it's not me. The millions are millions of today, today. The millions, the millions, down, by strike. The millions who meant nothing for our pay. For all the dreams we dreamed, and all the songs we've sung, and all the hopes we've held, and all the flags we've hung. The millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today. Because today. the America again. The land that has never been yet, and yet must be. The land where everywhere and is free. The land that's mine. The poor mans, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America. Whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain. Whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain. Must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me any ugly name you choose. The steel of this freedom does not stain. From those who live like leeches on people's lives, we must take back our land again. America. Uh, oh yes, I say a plan. America was never America to me. And yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the wreck and ruin of our gang of our death, the rape and rout of wrath and stealth and health and life, we the people must redeem. The land, the land, the mines, the plants, the riches, the mountains, and the endless plains, all, all, all the stretch of these green states and make America again.
Then it means that much for me If it's right, I will fight for it Give my life, yes I will die for it I'll be the hands and feet in the army of the Justice is one of our most moral values. When I think of justice, I think of just. God is just. He set the standard for us. He treats us all the same. It doesn't matter the color of our skin. Doesn't matter our nationality. Doesn't matter who we are. We are all treated the same. We are to be fair across the board. Justice is being just with everybody. My name is Stacey Garrett Koju, and I'm an attorney here in Nashville, Tennessee. Defining justice is difficult because we use the word so often to mean other concepts. For instance, we use justice to mean fairness or equality. But to me, justice means something different. It means doing what's morally right or deserved, and it considers equity and results in a fair outcome. Good evening. I hope you have been enjoying this justice journey this evening. Tonight, I have a very specific action item for you. For those of you that may be familiar with our community and to those that may be new, you may not realize that F.H. Jenkins Preparatory School has been in the business of educating young people since 1909. Yes, I said it, 1909. We are a historically black institution right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, if you go back into the annals of history and you recognize the culture and the setup in 1909, that was not a time in which our country was intentionally trying to create equitable spaces of education for young black and brown children. It just was not. At that time, the laws on the books were separate but equal. But let's be clear, F.H. Jenkins has always been dedicated to the mission of inspiring leaders and cultivating excellence. This has been a mission that has been carried out each and every day within the classroom and even now virtually. 
This is what we are called to do to ensure that there are equitable spaces for our children to be educated. And that is a mantle that we take up and we take on very seriously. But I will be transparent with you. Education cost, yes it does pay, but it sure does cost. And that is where you come in. That is our action item for this evening. We need you to go to www.fhjenkins.net forward slash giving and be a part of the Jenkins campaign. Yes, the Jenkins campaign. This is an ongoing campaign in which our community pours in to our school so that we can continue to provide excellent education for our young people. Those who have given to the Jenkins campaign uh, may be a part of our 25 Thrive program, our recurring givers. Wow, they not only give to the operations of the school, but to help provide scholarships for young people at our school. Being a part of the Jenkins campaign ensures that we can continue to provide this excellent education for our young people for years to come. Not even just about the right now, but for years to come. This is what we want to ensure can happen for our next generation each and every generation of young people here in Nashville to be able to have this opportunity to attend this school by the mighty Cumberland River. So your job today, we need you. Whether you sign up to be a part of the 25 Thrive program and even give five, 10, $100 per month as a regular giver, we need you. Whether you're able to give a one-time donation of $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $50, we need you, but we need you right now to be a part of this campaign. This Jenkins campaign is one that helps us to continue to inspire leaders and cultivate excellence, but most of all helps us to continue on this journey for justice. Our school is intentionally built as a part of a mantra and a belief that justice should be for all. You don't have to be a teacher here to be a part of that. So again, please go to www.fhjenkins.net forward slash giving and participate in the Jenkins campaign tonight, right now. And a matter of fact, we're going to give you some time right now to pick up that device and go. We won't even continue the program so that you won't miss a thing. Go to www.fhjenkins.net forward slash giving and let's build our school up. We are a part of this justice journey. Won't you please join us with your donation today? Thank you.
Scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. Service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work, where many opportunities arise to help others, both at school and in the community. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. Character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily within. Citizenship. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. This evening, it is our pleasure to induct the following scholars into the National Junior Honor Society. Madison Guider. Leslie Hammonds. Amari Holiday. Jeremiah Marsh. Harmony Phillips. I pledge myself always to seek the light of truth, to hold scholarly habits, to engage in worthy service, and move forward in all things that shall advance the welfare of the school. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Striving in every way, by word and deed, to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of the National Honor Junior Society to which I have been selected. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing to endeavor intelligently and courageously, to be a leader, to give of myself freely in service to others, and hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character. In so doing, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Junior Honor Society. While we believe in the value and power of recognition, being a member of the NJHS is far more than academia. This program is about elevating the culture of an entire community through everyday scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. We welcome you now as official members of this illustrious organization. What justice means to me is being owed something, whether that something is as basic as human rights it being taken away or removed, and then it being restored. So the restoration of something that is owed to you, in my opinion, is justice. Justice. I talk with my son about this a lot. We have this little mantra that we chant, and everybody chants it, no justice, no peace. So what does that mean for us? Well, I have a black son now, he's four. Basically, I need him to be able to walk around. I need him to be able to go into a store and not be judged on the color of his skin. I need him to be able to drive a car one day and not be pulled over because he's in the wrong neighborhood and his skin is the wrong color. Justice for me means that my son will one day be able to walk in peace, in love, in equality, all of those things that we all want. No justice, no peace. Hello, I'm Quante Toons, Metro Nashville Councilwoman for District 2. Dr. Martin Luther King once said that true peace is not the absence of tension, 
but the presence of justice. Justice is peace. Justice is equity. Justice is the removing of barriers that have historically kept black and brown people from realizing all of the rights and liberties guaranteed by our Constitution. The Constitution of a country that would not exist but for the blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors. Aggressive. Absent. Belligerent. Boastful. Careless. Cowardly. Dangerous. Deceitful. A cacophony of words used to trample us. A cache of ideas leveraged to restrain us. The world misused as a threat, yet our godly assignment is to protect. The world might see us as defiant, but mere plan deserve to be triumphant. The world may see us as full of anger, when passion drives us to be a world changer. Our prayer today is to create a new view that when they see us, they will see you. We hope you have enjoyed your evening this evening, that you have been inspired to continue on this journey for justice. We hope you know and understand that it's each of our duty as Christians, as good citizens, to work together to help those who have, who have been marginalized and oppressed, not out of a sense of pity, but out of sense of collective ownership, out of a sense of humanity, out of a sense of love. We hope you have a wonderful evening and thanks again for joining us. Hello, my name is Jennifer Fordham, and I am the proud kindergarten teacher here at F.H. Jenkins. Good morning, Lincoln! Yes, good to see you! Good morning, Jaden! Good to see you! At F.H. Jenkins Preparatory School, we truly believe in 
inspiring leaders and cultivating excellence. And that begins the first day of school in kindergarten. It is my privilege to be the first person that your child sees in an elementary school and I am the one that gets to set the tone for the rest of their academic career and I take this job so seriously. We want our scholars to have a strong start and man we have seen year after year the impact that kindergarten has had on our scholars as they move up the grades. Mrs. Fordham called and said, hey, before school started, I would love to meet Morgan and get to know Morgan. And when she walked into our home, the love and the joy that you could just see all over her and how comfortable Morgan was and how they kind of fit together. I, it was just, it gave me a peace that I knew that this was the right place for my daughter. All right, boys and girls, it's word problem time. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay. Yeah. Let's read it together. At F.H. Jenkins and in my classroom, I totally focus on social emotional learning. That is so important to me. Your child's self-esteem, your child's belief in themselves is what I want to partner with you to do, to increase. I would tell anyone that if you're looking for an academic school that will focus on the needs of your child, a place where you know that they will feel safe, cared for, and loved, that F.H. Jenkins Prep is the school that you're looking for. F.H. Jenkins is the exemplar model of a quality Christian education. I just believe learning is fun. I don't believe you just hear about the parts of the plant. I think you actually grow the parts of the plant. I don't think you just hear about the weather. I believe that you go outside and experience the weather and predict the weather and become meteorologists and present the weather, all of those things. We want to do hands-on things to make this the most enjoyable experience for your child. Plant life cycle first. What happens first? Seed. A seed. A seed. A seed. A seed. A plant. We're excited about our program. So, start your child's educational program off with excellence right here at F.H. Jenkins Preparatory School in our kindergarten program. To sign up, go to www.fhjenkins.net and click apply. You do not want to miss this opportunity. Slots are tight, so make sure you get your spot. Thank you.